Hey guys, it's Tampa Tech. If your computer is like my computer when I bought it, I had no Bluetooth built in. Well, just for $5 using this Bluetooth adapter, you can have Bluetooth on any computer or laptop. I'm gonna show you how to do it, and I'll leave a link in the video description below to find out where to get this little small device. All right, so now that you have your Bluetooth adapter, you wanna plug it in directly into your laptop, not into a hub, or else it won't work. Let's go ahead and do that, and plug that in. Now, you should get an icon that pops up on the bottom, system tray, a Bluetooth icon. If you don't have that Bluetooth icon, restart your computer and make sure you have internet connection and it should install the drivers onto your computer automatically. And if you don't have that icon, you can right click the system tray, customize notification icons, make sure you check show all icons and hit OK. Then you wanna click on your Bluetooth icon and show Bluetooth devices. Click on PC and devices, and now you should have a new category, Bluetooth. Click on that, and it should come up, manage Bluetooth devices. Now, if you don't have that, there's another way to do it. You do a search, and type in Bluetooth in your search. Make sure it says everywhere, and then click on Bluetooth settings. All right, so. Now we're going to turn on a Bluetooth speaker. My Bose speaker is a Bluetooth speaker. And that is turned on. And we have to hit the Bluetooth icon sometimes right there for it to connect. All right, there it goes. Click on here, hit pair. There's a chirp, so you know it, it, there's a connection there. All right, so now that it's connected. All right, so let's test it out, make sure it works. So let's click on a video. Hey guys, it's Tampa Tech. All right, so that's running. So that's running through my PC speakers. So that's not gonna work. So let's go ahead and check out the default sound. And click on sound. Click on that speaker, and there it is right here. Let's right click that and test it. All right, so it is making the uh, noise. So let's set as default and hit OK. Now let's try it out one more time. Hey guys, it's Tim Tech. I'm going to show you a few awesome apps for Android Wear in 2015. So it works. I'm going to show you. The All right, so now what we're going to do is Turn this off right here, okay? And see if it does it automatically. Turn it on. Hey guys, it's so that's my, I'm gonna show you a few awesome apps. All right, so that's my PC speakers. And let's hit power. And it should chirp. There, there's the chirp letting you know that it's connected to my computer. Double click on this. Hey guys, it's Tampa Tech. I'm gonna show you now a few it's, awesome apps for Android Wear. Now it's connecting automatically. Now let's say I want to connect a different Bluetooth device. So let's go ahead and do that. So click on this, click on show Bluetooth devices, click on PC and devices, Bluetooth, and let's hold down this power button and make sure this works. So I got my earpiece in. I'm gonna hold down the power button for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 seconds. So that's how it rotates. So it was off, now I hold it down for 12 seconds. There it is, it's in pairing mode. Click on it, pair, and I don't think I need a code. It's either 444 or 0000, but this one doesn't look, nope, it's connecting automatically. And I heard a, a beep in the headset, so it's connecting. All right, so now that it's connected, so my Bose is turned off, and I swipe down, and let's test it out. Click on this. Hey guys, it's Tampa. All right, that's my PC speakers. So that's my PC speakers, and let's go back to sound, and click on sound, click on the speaker, and here it is, end motion. That's my headset. So I go. Right click that, I'm gonna test it first. It works. 
and set as default and hit OK and double check make sure and it works I hear it so it works really good so now I'm gonna turn that off hit the power button so this is turned off and turn the speaker on right here and the speaker is on and it's connected and now it should be working hey guys, automatic now if you're still having issues with your connecting your Bluetooth device you can remove the device and then reconnect it uh, another thing is you want to make sure all like within the 20 foot range make sure all your Bluetooth devices is turned off and have only one Bluetooth device turned on when when trying to pair, by the way. That helps big time. And also, if um, this video was informative, give me a thumbs up. And if you know anyone that's interested in connecting uh, Bluetooth into their computer, uh, click on the share button below and share it to Facebook or G+. And subscribe to Tampa Tech for more tech reviews like this coming your way.